guys um, i own an alto and i am a big fo- uh, sports fan so i always wanted a, a tachometer on my console but uh, the ba- the car which i had was a base variant and uh, there was no stock uh, tachometer so i just figured it out uh, figured it out to just fix one onto my car and um, uh, this is how i did it first let me show you guys uh, the working I'm just starting my vehicle now okay so you guys saw it how it works and uh, it, it it is pretty decent and uh, i got this unit from uh, an old market in a uh, place where i near, live nearby uh, and uh, and i'll show you guys how to wire it up uh, wire up the tachometer now uh, so usually three wires come out of the tachometer uh, two for the power that is uh, positive and negative and the one for signal for uh, the rpm the two power lines could be taken from the uh, 12 volt uh, so- 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter socket that's available here so i just took the two wires from there and wired it to wired it to the tachometer and then uh, for the signaling uh, wire the signal has to come from the spark plug distributor i'll show you guys where it is is popping open the bonnet so the this is the uh, spark distributor and i took the signal from the negative lead it's the bottom lead of the the bottom lead of the spark distributor so for uh, the the rpm is calculated based on the number of sparks that come out of the spark distributor and uh, i just wired it through the hole that is present in the front firewall is uh, uh, used a wire long enough to reach that place inside the body and uh, that's how i wired it so i'm now i'm not exactly sure uh, of uh, the exact wires i just uh, figured it out by trial and error uh, usually uh, you could usually pull this uh, unit apart and then see uh, based on the labelings on the circuit board uh, which wire goes where and uh, i didn't exactly calibrate the tachometer so when i started when i i showed you guys uh, the starting rpm it was around 2000 it's not exactly 2000 for this vehicle it's around 500 to 600 i didn't really care about the exact values uh, to to actually uh, uh, calibrate the instrument you have to change the resistor values inside and you could uh, uh, use the internet to google the exact circuitry and how to uh, calibrate the equipment so uh, also i use the uh, LED strip to illuminate the dial. This is an old uh, tachometer and uh, it's not exactly new. It was a second hand from another vehicle. So that's it guys. Have fun.